in Leeds, West Yorkshire, where two daughters are hoping to make their dad's day. Now, wouldn't it be great if someone you knew invited a team of hard-working, talented, good-looking handymen round to your home to pull off a surprise makeover? Well, two out of three isn't bad, is it? Hey, hey, hey. Gonna move oh, my Obviously, the conservatory. And here's the dining table. <laughs> so, is this room used, Lindsay? Um, my dad comes in here to escape. He likes to listen to his music in here, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. And he has the doors up, it leads onto the garden, and, mm. and he does use it in, in, in summer, but it's just such a cold room in, mm. in winter, isn't it? Well, I love the fact that you're surrounded with all that greenery. Mm. I think we want to bring that in. Yeah. You're also inheriting the outside of the house because you've got the brick wall there. Mm. That can make yeah. you think it's a bit colder, so it's about yeah. warming the place up with a few designer tricks. Oh, yeah. that sounds good, <laughs> doesn't it, done, OK, is there anything in here that you want to keep? Um, obviously, the lovely lamp over there. We'd like you to keep joking. that. <laughs> you are joking. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> OK, girls, shall we go upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Makeover time, everyone. You three ready? We're ready. Team, are you ready? Yes! yes. Three, two, one. <laughs> Conservatory, what have you got planning? Oh, look at well, those blinds. We're getting the blinds put up there. This is Dave. And Hello. what we're doing here, because I hate those pleated blinds. Right. So we're having these lovely roller blinds. And the beauty of these, I think I'm right in saying, Dave, is they will reflect the heat out but keep the heat in. So they'll be okay. able to use this room a lot more. OK, so that's an integral part of this room. Absolutely. What else are we doing? Green? Yeah, we're bringing the outside in. John, that's awful. <laughs> Just wait to see it because there's some lovely greens coming through in my fabrics. And because we're actually on the outside of the building here, I'm hiding some of the brickwork with some fake drapes. Oh, Just okay. a little bit of dressing to soften the room off. OK, next room. Happy? OK, Andy, everything on track with the blinds? It's going track really, really well. with the blinds oh. on track. I think they make such a big difference. Really well. Yeah. They do, they do. They'll make a big difference in the summer and at night in the winter. They're fantastic. fantastic. That's what we want, because we want to use this room. This is a special area for him. They'll be able to do We've that. got blinds going up as well, going around. Around the sides. For those, yes? Yep, that's right. That's great, because we want them to bring the outside in. It's nice to have a bit of privacy as well, and a wooden blind Brings the wood in from the garden, but gives a bit of privacy, and I love blinds. You're in the right place. We are. It's all about blinds today. We are. Thank you. Three, two, one! Do you know, 30 minutes just isn't very long these days. Doesn't it fly by when you're enjoying yourself? OK, tools down, out you go, guys, well done. That seemed like yeah. 10 minutes. Already got now, the carpet, carpet down. Now that rug is going to oh we've wet on that because it's raining. With the insulation from the blinds and the warmth we've created with the Venetian blinds, the rug going down. We're bringing in fabrics you see as well. It breaks up the brick wall. It's a little bit softer. Immediately I'm feeling cosier. Do you know the blinds on the windows and on the ceiling makes such a monumental difference. They do. And I'm how really are you feeling about the green? I hate the green. Lovely. Thanks for that. <laughs> Oh, I like to see you getting in with the crowd. Well, there you go, you see. You know, your blinds are all done and now we're on the seats. We are. We're are just, we doing OK? We just yeah. needed in there. Oh, do you know, these look very inviting, don't they? Oh, and there's a nice tea set. They're very comfortable. I'm missing something at the back, though. I've got a floor to clean in. Go on, you're doing a really good job. Why would I want to take it away from you when you're so good? <laughs> Just having a little bit of cushion madness. Always have cushion madness on 60 minute makeover, but it's how you pull the whole scheme together. The green that Terry Dwyer didn't like has been pulled through as little accents in all the cushions. So we've got it running through on the florals, got it running through on the stitch line, pulls everything together, really contemporary lamps. Got some. Look at this! John! 
Not only is John messing... Thank you. <laughs> Not only is John messing up the dining room, he's messing up my conservatory as well. Messy little <laughs> thing. Right, conservatory, how are we doing in here? Looking lovely. Trigger, you're OK in here, yeah? It's all, it's got a minute and a half, a minute and a half. It's all, it's all right. It's Don't come in with dirty <laughs> shoes. Nick Nacks and ICS, make these real. Bend them over. Come on. That's it, that's it. Dining room, we need to... Five, four, three, two, one. During the last 60 minutes, we've been making over this house in Leeds, West Yorkshire, with Caroline and Lindsay to surprise their dad, Tony, who's had a tough few years since their mum, Janet, died. Tony is on his way home right now. <laughs> Hello, Tony. Well, good, but house on fire. <laughs> Would you like to come and join us? <laughs> it's a good surprise. Well, yeah. <laughs> Tony, can I ask you if, if you've got any idea what's going on? I don't. I haven't won lottery ever. <laughs> uh, sadly not, but something nice like that. Have you done me garden? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll tell you what we've been doing. I'm Terry, and I've been here with the 60-minute makeover team. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, it's happened for oh. a good reason, Tony. Caroline, why don't you tell your dad why you've done this for him? Caroline. Because <laughs> you deserve it. We've all been through such a lot over the last couple of years. We've yeah, been yeah, mum and then being made redundant, and you've always done stuff for us all throughout our lives, so we just wanted to give all you something these back. Here, look. And we're all <laughs> here for working. you. They've all been working out, all these people. Are <laughs> unbelievable. How does that make you feel, Tony, that your two girls well, have I've done just, this for I've you? Just, I'm just gobsmacked. <laughs> yeah, I'm just absolutely stuck for words. Shall I put you out your misery? Put okay. me out of suspense. <laughs> suspense, that's a better word. Come on, Tony. Right, thank you. Oh. Yeah, put your arm around me. Yeah. <laughs> this was the old conservatory. After a makeover, it's now a cosy retreat. Look yeah. at your amazing oh. room. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> I, if I did it a dozen times, I don't know. Oh, oh, <laughs> where, where, where are my other three? Oh, <laughs> out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> and I've got a new stereo system as well. Well, the girls said that you like coming out here to listen to music and read. I do. So... I got out of the way. See? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got that right. Well, we wanted to make a nicer space for you. So the blinds in the summer they keep it cool, and in the winter they keep it warm. Oh, I mean, this, this, this day is better than anyway. And why is that, Tony? Well, my anniversary it would have been my thirty seventh anniversary today. Well, do you know what? Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, oh dear me, it's. I don't know you do. Uh, <laughs> do you think your wife would have liked this house? She, she would have been over the moon. Yeah, would she? She would. Yeah. She would. She'd have been over the moon. Well, there's two rooms down and two to go. Do you want to well, take a look? Well, I might have to take the plunge, haven't I? You have. <laughs> two down, two to go. Yeah. Right. Upstairs next. Right. OK. Right. Well, another 60 minutes of organised chaos has paid off. Well done, everyone. Bye. Bye. We're ditching the dodgy cushions and chucking the furniture. I'm Terry Dwyer. Welcome to 60 Minute Makeover. The owner of this house in Bognor Regis has recently given herself a makeover. Well, her mum thinks it's about time the house got the same treatment. We're here to do just that, but it's a surprise. <laughs> Wow, look okay. at this barren room. <laughs> <laughs> what is meant to be a conservatory, I feel. OK. Yes. yes, I'm afraid it's neglected because for six months of the year, it simply is too hot. It cannot be used. Of course, no blinds. No, no. It would be lovely to have a nice, I don't know, a nice settee out there, a nice mm. chair out there. Perhaps somewhere for the children to put their toys, the three boys. I mean, you can imagine how much... How many possessions they've got there? Mm. Precious toys would be nice. And somewhere, somewhere for to Alison them. to relax, maybe. Somewhere for her to relax. 
Rich is lovely light space though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, great space. I'm very excited about that. Somewhere for Alison to relax, some storage as well yes. in there, some colour, some blinds. Yes. Ooh. Great. How's that oh, sound? Oh, sounds absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> well, should we go upstairs? Let's. Three, two, one. So the conservatory, I love this. It's so airy and light. But the guys have got to put blinds at all these windows. Yeah. So I don't know whether they're going to do it or not. All of them? Yeah, every single panel, all the sides, all the top, blinds. Oh, so my So can be shaded words. here. We got any up yet? The first one plugged in. Oh, let's have a look. Okay. Round of applause if you can wow. do this. Wow. Well done. That's OK. There's only about another 30 to go, isn't there? <laughs> There's one. Did you hear that? 18 minutes left. Wow, yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six blinds have gone up. Now, how long would this normally take you to do? This is a day's work. It's a day's one work. Team, yeah. But you've obviously prepped, measured, it's all sorted. Yeah. And there's three of you on it. And there's three of us on it. And can I talk cost? How much would this kind of cost? For the six roof blinds, it's probably 1,000 to 1,200 pounds. Right. And about six, seven, 800 pounds for the sides. OK, so we're not far off 2,000 pounds worth. No, all thermal materials. So, so we're all going to keep out the, the heat to a certain extent. So long lasting and really worth it because it means that Alison and, and the boys can actually use this room. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. I love it when the plan comes together. No, I will not nice. detract you anymore. Fantastic. Wow. And that, oh, look. Wow. It's a really smart place for Alison to relax. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. What else have we got to do in here? Uh, well, it's just dressing in here now. So we've got interesting, gorgeous lights going in here. Storage, nice chair. Got flowers to go in here. So bringing it all together. And don't these blinds make such an incredible difference? Unbelievable. And even here as well, they're just oh, fabulous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. OK, makes up for you pink. Come on. Come on. One hour, four rooms, and Alison's about to get the surprise of her life. All arranged by her mum, Jill. So... Oh. Would you like to see your new home? I would. <laughs> In we go then, ladies. Oh, <laughs> the conservatory looked like a junkyard. Look at it now. Wow, look at the difference in here. Oh, blinds, no oh, blinds. <laughs> That's incredible, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. That is incredible. I mean, it's what, another room. Uh, yeah. And this is always what I wanted. I thought I wanted it to become more of a room. And it was yes. just a playroom. It was baking hot in the summer. You couldn't come out here without flaking out. In the winter, it was freezing cold, so you couldn't come out here then. So. Lovely reading room, I think. Oh, yes, beautiful. absolutely. On my chaise long there, yes. the glass chardonnay, oh, I think. Peel me a grape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know, when your boys are a bit older, you need to teach them that. Absolutely, yes. 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 Oh, that's really, really yeah. nice. Would you like to meet the man who's been instrumental in all of this? Absolutely. Richard? Absolutely. Hello. Do you like pink? I do. <laughs> How are you lovely. doing? Thank you so lovely much. Lovely to meet you. It was lovely. Do you really? like everything? I do, I do. I especially like that mirror. Yes. And I love the colour in my bedroom. Oh, Fantastic. fabulous. Well, I think you ladies me. should enjoy your new space and Richard and I should get out of here. Yeah. Thanks Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks again. Bye. 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 Sometimes 60 minutes is just not quite enough, but we did it. Well done, guys. That's all from us here today in Bognor Regis. Bye. 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 In Ashford, Kent. Now, the man of this house has just set up his own business and he's been working so hard he hasn't even got time for his own wedding, never mind anything else. So we thought if we took the DIY out of his hands, maybe, just maybe, we can get this lovely lady down the aisle. That'd be nice, wouldn't That'd it? That'd be lovely, <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh, conservatory, which kind of looks a little bit forgotten about. Do you use it, Yeah, um, we have started using it a bit more since we've had the nice weather. OK. Um, but it's kind of 
dinner on our knees. Okay, <laughs> so it's not to. really a functional room at the moment. No, no. Conservatories can be problematic though, Scott, yeah. can't they? Yeah, they sure can. Uh, I think it's just sort of whether you're, it's too cold or it's too hot mm. and everyone sort of gets stuck in the middle and doesn't know what to do and mm. then ends up just sort of leaving it quite bare. Uh, and in the winter they can feel quite cold, like you're mm. just sat in some sort of like greenhouse. Mm. So the aim is to sort of bring the warmth back into it mm -hmm. but then still make it really cool like when the sun's blazing through. Yes. So. Lovely brick again. I like this natural brick. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we like the brick. No, it works really well in here and it'll work with definitely with the colour skin. That we're good, so you're on. going to work with the natural brick. You're yes. not taking it away. No, that's staying. That's good. That <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Okay, well, is there anything you want to keep in here? There's actually not much in here. No, um, just Charlie's sort of toy box. Okay, well, do you want to put a stick yeah, on it? brilliant, thank you. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, here we have the conservatory. What are your yeah. plans? Uh, plans in here is just to make it a lot warmer so yes. they can use it all year round, both okay. in the summer and in the winter. So we're bringing in a bit of colour, a bit of an accent, uh, some comfy seating, seating for the kids, uh, nice blinds and everything, which are going up, as you can see, they're going yes. up right now. Uh, and a great new seating. But when you say warmer, it's not going to be too hot in the summer, is it? No, not at all, because they've got the uh, they've got a real good fan going up, which sort of circulates the heat and the coolness, so... Okay, quite exciting yeah. then. Let's take a look next door. Hi guys, how are we going in here? What's doing all right? Way? Dave, how are those blinds doing? Yeah, the blinds are doing, the roof's coming on nicely. We're just going to oh, put fantastic. all the side blinds up. Um, when the lads have finished the fans, we've got a nice filling piece for the top. Brilliant. And I believe you've had some cushions designed to match these. Yeah, to match this red trim. But we can, uh, if they want to change, like, if they want to change a colour scheme, oh, yeah, the trim these on. trims just yeah. snap off, yeah? And yeah, you can put new ones on. Yeah, well, we just slide the trim out, slide the new one in. If you want to put a scallop on, you want to put a wood pole through, all that can happen. Brilliant. And they're great sort of for the reflective because of the heat. Yeah, there's a centre lining in the blind which reflects the heat out, also yeah. reflects the heat in the winter, so that's going to make a big difference. We've got perspex on the roof, which is not the best thing for keeping heat out and in, but the blinds will actually accommodate yeah. for that. Fantastic. Right, we've got the blinds there already and the fans in. Yeah. Uh, now it's just dressing the furniture, getting the furniture in there, which okay. is quite difficult because everyone's sort of in these three rooms. Yes. So just push everyone out of the way. So we're all fighting <laughs> over yeah. each other. <laughs> tree. Conservatory. Wow, look go. at this rug. Yeah. Do you know, it makes such a difference, doesn't it? Really, really lifts And it, it really warms it up straight yes. away. And we've got this great wrap side going in now, so yes. brilliant. OK, so this room's not a problem at all, really, is it? Uh, no, it just basically just needs dressing off. Oh, and then we've got the uh, the wall-mounted fire going on the wall. Oh, no. For when the winter, it's still nice and warm Is in it here. a functional fire? Yeah, yeah, it's electric oh, fire. Oh, wow. So it's like a heater. It just looks like a piece of glass, but it's actually electric fire, which is so much better to use in a conservatory rather than a sort of a fan heater, which are a bit nondescript. This gives you something to look at, and also in the winter, you'll be able to use this room all year round now because it'll keep you really warm and cosy. So I'm really chuffed with that. And those blinds, is that just a decoration red on the bottom? The band on the bottom, yeah. Yes. We can sort of pick up the same colours and we've got the same cushions. And then in future, you can change the bands for different colours. Nice, great. OK, upstairs. <laughs> Over the past 60 minutes, we've been making over this house in Ashford, Kent with Claire for her hard-working fiancé, Matt, who's just setting up his new plumbing business. Oh, he's on his way home now. I'm Terry, and yeah. I've been here with the 60-minute makeover team. Right, OK. Would you like to tell Matt why you've done this for him? Because you work so hard. And Thank you. And you don't have time to do it all, and I, I know how important it is for you yeah. to get the house done. So I just wanted to do something for Thank you. Thank you. Would oh. you like to see your new home, guys? Because yeah, Claire anyway. hasn't seen it yet, either. Right, OK. Does that make you more Brilliant. nervous? Well, yep. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> yeah, I am speechless, yeah. That's a good way to be. Come on. <laughs> the old conservatory was a cold and uninviting space. It's now a warm and cosy living area. Your conservatory. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look. 
is absolutely brilliant. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. So in the winters, you can look at your fire, <laughs> and then in the summer, it doesn't look like a fire, does it? That, that is, is very, very nice. Fantastic. Oh, little telly. In fact, I'm going to be in here all the time, I think. <laughs> well, we, we're trying to make it into a family room, yeah. so, you know, if you want to be in here, you know, the children want to be in here, but all the colours really warm it up. The out. blinds look brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the, the blinds are so much yeah. better. Yeah, the blind the guys did yeah. a sterling job. Yeah. Amazing. Love the yeah, it's not. I like everything in it. Yeah, really do. I, you know, I love this colour, but like I say, I would never know really to use it's it. It's a nice accent colour, yeah. isn't it, to think of using the creams yeah. and the reds together. Definitely. No. Did you do these cushions as well, Claire? No. <laughs> yeah, that's pushing the boat a bit, isn't it, Claire? <laughs> did your girl do good? She did very good. Yes. Yes. Very good. All this extra time you're we going to have on your hands. We were only talking about doing this for a little while oh, back, weren't right. we? That we couldn't really sort of stretch to it at the moment. Yeah. So it does look really good. It's well, good. brilliant. Two down. A few more to go. Okay. You ready? Oh, wait. I yep. am. Yep. Follow Next me. <laughs> well, that was another 60 minutes well spent. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>Portsmouth, Hampshire, where this army of decorators have been secretly drafted in. Now it's a race against time to help a devious boyfriend give his deserving girlfriend a stylish home of her dreams. Come on, guys! Yay! Light and airy conservatory. It looks very new, Floyd. When was it done? It was done about nine months ago. It used to be a lean-to with a cold bunker in the corner, which I delightfully smashed down. OK. And this is what we have now. Somewhat different. What do you want to use this room for? It's used mainly for dinner in the evenings when we've got guests around. I love to cook. So her mum and dad will come round, all the other friends around, we entertain out here. OK, lovely so Brilliant, a real family room. I absolutely relish doing these types of rooms. They're so much fun to design because it's all about bringing everyone together. Um, now, the problem with conservatories, Sophie, keeping them cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Yeah, I mean, this is that? quite a little hot box at the moment, isn't mm. it? When the sun comes out, it's really baking in here. Mm. Yeah, so we've got practical issues to deal with, um, like um, controlling the amount of light and the mm. heat and all that kind of thing. But also, I just would like to inject a real sense of fun into this room. I mean, again, it's just a blank canvas. It's got the simple flooring that you've already invested in, which is great. Mm. But we've got those plain plastered walls, which are just crying out. For some be... sumptuous colour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I intend to have a lot of fun with this room. Good. How's that sound, Floyd? Sounds good. I'm looking forward to that. Are you uh -huh. going to keep anything in here? Uh, just the candlesticks. OK, a lot to do today, but very exciting. Very, very exciting. Should we get on with this makeover? <laughs> in you go, guys. The team have got 60 minutes to make over this house in Portsmouth, Hampshire. Floyd has sent his girlfriend out for the day and invited us in. He wants to say a massive thank you for all of her support. A bit rowdy today, aren't they? Come on, you horrible lot. <laughs> Conservatory, there you are, Chris. I've got oh. Floyd, who is very handy, but I'm not quite sure on your painting skills. <laughs> Same here. You don't like painting, I do don't, you? no. OK, oh. what do you think to the wallpaper, Floyd? Lovely. Like it? Yeah, it's nice. All right, Chris, I'll leave Floyd with you. Excellent. Help uh, Bethany behind you. OK, yeah. Do you have that? There you go. OK, you're okay. yeah, there. I think we'll all. get some more paint. I find my way through here, conservatory. Wow. Ah, now you've gone from lots of very, very bold statements to quite a serene, safe room. You reckon? At the moment, yes. it might look all safe and serene, but this is our party room. So we're gonna, we've got quite a bold wallpaper, which I think links in with the garden. I love the fact that they all entertain and have these garden barbecues. Now, it is bold, but it's very subtle because it's not an intense green. Yeah, not like the bedroom what? wallpaper. It's, what? Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. any other room that we're doing <laughs> yeah. today. No, it's a lot sort of calmer and, yeah, chilled by, but as I said, we've got some fantastic accessories coming in here, which is gonna really, really add loads of kind of fun and accents of colour and stuff like that. Great. Well, at least we've got one calm room. Are you pleased about that? Are you getting worried? I'm no, I'm not worried. <laughs> Oh, 
don't you just love this wallpaper? Um, but I'm just going to put it on one wall because it's got quite, even though it's subtle, it's got quite a bold print and it's quite a tiny room. And it's got loads of other things going on here. We've got blinds and furniture and accessories. So top tip, when you're using these really trendy wallpapers, if you don't want that overkill, if you want to keep it light and open, just choose one focal wall. Blinds, how are they going up? Because well, these are quite an important part of this makeover, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, you've got a perspex roof, which is going to let a lot of heat Which in. is why we are all we sweating are all in here. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. We're going to show you a difference in the second half. OK. But we've got a lot of paintwork going on around the top. So rather so than you're waiting. on the blinds, we've fitted the side blinds so far. Lovely. You can't see where Can they I are. They are in frames inside cool. of the window. Love that. So, Great. but the frame itself is nothing to do with the window. I can so show you. So you popped that in, have you? We popped that in. Either, either with a bracket or with a little screw, and then your blind can your blind can then sit inside. You don't see any of the workings. Very Open nifty. The wind it. It's more like mm -hmm. I'm going to let you get on, no but problem. they're looking they're very swish. On. Coming on. Good luck. Three, two, one. <laughs> Where's Sophie? Ah, look at that. No sooner do I call, but you appear. Right. It's still quite tranquil in here, isn't it? But we've it got is, the... and it's also quite empty. <laughs> yeah, it is quite empty. We've but we've got the blinds going up first. We just have to give him some space. We can get some of the sunlight out of our eyes. We've got big bits of furniture to come in here. Are they yeah. coming in here next? Next, we've got a little basement. Dave's got plenty of rooms to finish with That's the why, okay. that's why. And then dress, but, what kind uh, of things you bring? Big table, beautiful yeah. leather dining chairs, really, really yeah, nice, wait. bright, bold artwork. And then I think I've got some really fun bits as well that I might save that show you oh, later. Okay. But this is the party room, you see, so there's a tip. Let's take a look at the next room. <laughs> Can you grab them all of these and just put them in a row through here? Lovely. That's it, Dave. Go on, do your flare arranging. Anyway, let's put those flowers on the middle. And um, we'll put some more of those on the shelves. <laughs> yeah. Should we, can we put that somewhere and plug it in? Yes, where do you want it? Um, you decide. That's your job. <laughs> During the last 60 minutes, we've made over this house in Portsmouth, Hampshire, with Floyd for his girlfriend Louise, who's on her way home. Right. Should we go and take a look? Yeah, sure. Come on, guys, in the house we go. Their old conservatory wasn't quite finished. After a makeover, it's perfect for entertaining. Your lovely conservatory. Wow. Oh, right. Check that out. That's gorgeous. That's incredible. Wow, no, what's that? That's a karaoke machine. All right. That's lovely. Oh, a bit singing. You've got lovely new blinds, so in the summer it'll keep the heat out and in the winter it'll keep the heat in. I love the wallpaper. Yeah, that's nice wallpaper, isn't it? <gasps> Lots of candles. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, I'll that be making... is gorgeous. I'll be making some of my famous paella now. Yeah. I did say he was a keen cook. He was he lying? Cook. No, no, he's a very good cook. Good. Better than me. It's really lovely. Do you like it? I really like it. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't see that. Is that a that wine cooler? A big yes. wine cooler. Whoa. Get a few bottles of wine yeah. in there. And the oh, shelves are gorgeous. They're nice well. shelves, yeah. They're all it's the very flowers. airy and light. Really and nice. So you've seen two rooms now, Louise. What do you think? I think they're lovely. I love this. You're happy so yeah, far. Definitely. Is he a very good boyfriend? Well, I try Fantastic my best. boyfriend. <laughs> you know we've still definitely. got a couple more rooms to go. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, I think so. Okay, out you go, guys. Mm. Chairs are lovely as well. Another makeover, another very happy family. Thanks to you lot. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye.
Okay, now today, a mum has invited this lot around to give her daughter's house a massive transformation. After a difficult time, she's still got a smile on her face, but, well, her house is a little bit sad. So who's going to give her the surprise of her life? We are! Ominous. Goodness. What is going on? Trust me, don't look worried. You know what I'm like? I always like to push my plans to the edge, and I've gone big time this time, literally. So what oh I'm doing out here is God. creating a conservatory. Now, for health and safety reasons, I've actually put the floor down already. Because, because the cement needs to dry. Absolutely. Mm. But what we are going to do, yeah? Gosh. See these? These are going to be chucked up in 60 minutes. You're and I'm going to show And we're going to put blinds up as well. <laughs> what this does do, uh -huh. it creates a massive great feeling of space. So suddenly the living room is twice as big. So what do you think to that, Olive? Oh, Something different? She will just not believe. She mm. will. Oh, she will be over the moon. Absolutely. But imagine the summer, all the plants around Incredible. the garden. It will look beautiful it out will. here. Like a little oasis in the middle of Aylesbury. This is the first time in 60 Minute Makeover that we are attempting to do a conservatory. Let's hope we finish. We will do. Trust me. <laughs> Let's take a look at the kitchen. Good luck, everyone, particularly the conservatory. Three, two, one. <laughs> Baby. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> just take a look around. 12 oh. minutes and look oh, what has been done in this. Oh, we? I'm so oh, I'm, I'm feeling quite yes. quietly confident about the conservatory I now. You. I told you it's gonna be so amazing. Good. In here. Well, good job. <laughs> OK, so talk me through what's going to happen. Right, because this is a close room next to that room, the living room, I really need that feeling of continuity. And as I said, I don't want to steal the light, I want to sort of inject loads of light in yes. here. So what we're going to have in here is a glass table. Yes. And we're going to have a couple of trees there. We've got cacti in here. Mm. We've got lovely flowers. Because this is the thing about conservatories. They're always in the danger of becoming like a dumping ground for junk and toys and various other It's like a corridor. Bob. becomes like yeah. a corridor, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. OK, well, I think it's a lovely addition. It's a house in here, isn't it? It's like a greenhouse. <laughs> I know, we haven't even got the roof on yet. <laughs> Conservatory guys, you have got four minutes left. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> To me. Please, listen, don't look at me if it's I'm putting scared. you off. Are you pleased with the way things are going yeah, in the conservatory? Honestly, it's going great. <laughs> okay, how much longer have you got left? 20 minutes. Oh, good, so we're okay within yeah. the hour. You just look really quite Art Deco and you fit really well into my theme throughout the downstairs. Well, I'm glad you like it, but I don't think I'm going to get much tea break whilst I'm spending <laughs> getting all this paint off me. Anyway, enough about me and the paint. The conservatory has been done in half an hour. It has. Um, the floor's still got to go down. Yeah. And the door's still got to go on. Oh, so it hasn't quite been finished. <laughs> <laughs> but they've done a great job. They've done there. a brilliant job. And then we'll put the table in here and all the cacti and the trees. So, you know, I mean, it's going rock and roll out here. And what about the living room? You happy? In okay, there? guys. Three, two, one. <laughs> the conservatory now, Hannah, this floor was actually put down in minutes. It was so quick, and of course, Dave's putting the blinds up there. Wow, they look fabulous. That kind of stops them feeling like a bit of a tomato house near a greenhouse, you yes. know? It's, it's pretty good. What, tell me about them. What, what are these blinds? Tell me. Oh, the blinds have a thermal lining in the centre to yeah. reflect the heat out and also reflect the heat in the winter, so that's going to be a big benefit. What else is coming in here, Hannah? We've what got a glass table, all glass, glass, glass in here. We've got a couple of bamboo trees to go in here. Yeah. So it's really just modern. I don't want too much clutter in here, because I... Look, how, look at this, Terry. Look at the 
feeling. You don't feel like there's any barrier between the garden and in here. So you yeah, actually feel like right. you're sitting in the garden. Conservatory, boys. Well done. Yay! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're great, they're great. Three, two, one. I think we did it. Well done, guys. Over the last 60 minutes, we've been making over four rooms and building a fifth in this house in Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire. Olive. This is what the back of the house used to look like. We've made 60-minute makeover history. A whole new room that's light, fresh and modern. Oh, wow. Your conservatory. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come this way. Thank you. Oh, wow, it's gorgeous. This is your new dining area. Oh, wow. <laughs> We have special blinds on. The table. Oh, yeah. And, and in the winter, they will keep the heat in, and in the summer, they'll keep the heat out, so it regulates the temperature in here. Excellent. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I love it. We still have one room to go. This You're just... very lucky to I date know. almost f well, five, five rooms, rooms, really. Well, a new room as well, a brand totally. new room. An extra room. It's going to make all the difference downstairs. Oh, definitely. Shall we take a look at the last room, the kitchen? Definitely. OK. Thanks. It's amazing what you can do in an hour. Four rooms and a conservatory. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Bye. 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 They Literally. Kind of, they kind of look like Wild West bloomers hanging at the window. I mean, it's like a bar room brawl without any of the fun. I mean, clearly a very unstylish person there. Uh, <coughs> with those curtains in, maybe a <coughs> previous owner? Yes, but it was several years ago and they have faded somewhat because of the heat in here, so... Uh... That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> it is warm in here, isn't it? You know, it's it because there's no protection Correct, above. Yes. Now, in Victorian eras, when they built conservatories and orangeries, they were built on shaded parts of the homes, so they weren't completely battered down upon by sunlight. This is getting direct sunlight. If this was on a different elevation, it would be a much more temperate environment. So, as designers, our challenge here isn't simply to make it look good for you guys, it's to make it feel good as well. So, we're employing special blinds that are actually really clever at deflecting heat when you want it deflected and allowing it in when you need it allowed in. So this will become an all-year-round space rather than somewhere that you can shy away from. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, please, please, please <laughs> no. <laughs> please no. Are there any keep me's in here apart from the curtains? Uh, just the floor. Just the floor? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's quite new. So. Not the sofa. We can live with <laughs> that. Keep it if you like. If you want to throw a rug over it. <laughs> yeah, you need more than a rug. Or some petrol over it, maybe. <laughs> Grab a match. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I reckon we've got a work cut out, haven't mm, we? We have indeed. Mm. We've got a huge amount of work. Only 60 minutes to make over this home. We've got a bit of preparation time before that starts. So the sooner we start the work, the sooner we give this house back in a beautiful condition to all of you guys, OK? Lovely. Come on. Thank you, Thank you very much. Well, I reckon this house is well and truly prepped and ready to take on its new identity. Indeed it is. Now, I've got to ask you, are you ready for what is about to be a major 60-minute undertaking? Absolutely. Yes. Team, are you ready? Yes. yes. Three, two, one. So, conservatory, where's Sarah? I'm here. Come over here. <laughs> now, here. I hope you don't mind me telling you, we have pulled down Stand your up. bloomers. Do you know, those curtains, let me come. We said it was like a bar room brawl without any of the fun. The <laughs> curtains in here weren't relevant no. at all to a conservatory. For us, a conservatory <laughs> should be about embracing the outdoors. Yeah. It should be bringing in colour, warmth and vibrancy and a real kind of nod to Mother Nature. So we've gone for this amazing textured wallpaper. It's just oh, fantastic. That's lovely. It's got a lovely ribbed red texture lovely. to it as well. So lots of different yeah, shades of brown and grey going on oh, in there. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. We're 
paving the floor, right. we're adding natural seagrass rugs, uh -huh. and then we're doing what any good conservatory dresser should do, right. adding wicker furniture, but really lovely, lovely wicker lovely. furniture. This is going to become a conservatory yeah. that's a proper part of the house, a lovely adjunct to that li living room there, yeah. and a brilliant introduction to what is a gorgeous garden, do you know? Oh, yeah. Let's bring the outdoors in, let's take the indoors out, and let's give you an amazing conservatory to lovely. give to your best friend. I know, yeah. lovely. As you were. Thank right. you. Keep busy, guys. Good luck. Is there anything we can do to help? Hey, Phil. Wow, I'll tell you what, we always say that uh, a conservatory without good blinds is like a beautiful face without its teeth in. Sounds good. These are really bringing it together, and obviously they're kind of, they're kind of created to look like a, a lovely they're, rattan. Or yeah, raffia. like a wood weaver. A lot yeah. of people are buying this because you've got the attraction of the thermal blinds plus the wood weaver. Okay. And a lot of expensive as well. Yeah. Well, we chose these because they reflect the heat, we understand. So this conservatory is going to be more temperate. It's not going to be yeah. oppressively warm. No, uh, and they're also nice ambient temperature yeah. in the summer, quite nice. Yeah. Do you know what we're doing in here, just so you know? We're doing a mixture of kind of rattan weaves, the, the, the wood weave look. We're doing incredible rattan furniture. We've got a big seagrass rug trimmed out in chocolate brown. That'll be amazing. And lots of really big plants. Well, the wallpaper is great, isn't it? And it kind of relates really well to what you've got up over there. Have a little feel. This is real natural fibre on a paper backing. And just a little bit, you know, we're not using too much of it. Just an accent there and an accent there to bring it together. Good, brilliant. Well, thank you, Phil. You're doing an absolutely brilliant. Yeah, a good job. Well done. Thank you. Oh, look at you, like the Cinderella of decor. <laughs> this is wonderful, you yeah, know, let's get these pieces in here. How do you feel about the look? Is it coming together Absolutely for you? Absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, I mean, this is the time where we get the softs in here, you know, get the texture into yep. the space as well. We get the rugs down, which will totally transform this tiled floor. You know, and even getting the blinds up as well. Suddenly, you know, this stops feeling like the kind of goldfish ball. I know, yeah. Before. And starts to have a bit of uniformity, which is I know, oh, it's looking, I'm just, oh. <laughs> well, look at this. The furniture's now coming in, and the gorgeous wood works Brilliant. really nicely Beautiful. with the pattern on the blinds, with the pattern on the rug. We want a lot of natural elements in uh -huh. here. And it Pieces just works so well. And you know when you go into those great hotels, and they've got a wonderful round table bang yeah, on in the yeah. centre? That. That's what that's going to do. It's going to be right there. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Where's our orchid? Can somebody bring us in the big orchid, please? Well, what we need to do is try a rug under that, because we've got three rugs for here. That may benefit from having a rug underneath. My only concern about that is that the rug's narrow, Colin, so if we have a narrow rug underneath a really wide circular well, Why don't we get table. the rug, offer it over the top, and then we can see okay. the Can we see where the rugs are, please, just to ascertain size? OK, right, we'll leave that there and we'll come back to that in a minute, Colin. I want to go and check the dining room. Okay. Guys, we're really in our last few minutes. Can we make every endeavour, please? Keep cleaning. Wow. We're not going to be defeated by the rain team, are we? No! no. no. OK, good luck. Ten! Nine! Nine. Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four! <laughs> We've just finished our makeover here in Timperley in Cheshire for Tracy, who's a nurse, with the help of her daughter Anna and her best friends Sue and Sarah. Fantastic. Welcome home, Tracy. Thank Come you very on. Much. Thank you. 
This was the conservatory before the team got to work. Previous use as a storage and play area meant that function had taken priority over style. With the children now growing up, Tracy needed to reclaim the room and use it as a tranquil place to unwind. Now the conservatory finally lives up to its potential as an airy and beautiful space. The new blinds help regulate the temperature, keeping it warm in winter and cool in summer, so they can use it all year round. And we go. <laughs> come in, come on. Come on in. <laughs> I can't speak. It needed a wee lift, didn't it? Oh. A wee lift? <laughs> mm. It needed to become a conservatory instead of a, a cross between a western bar and a, a kid's play zone and all the old furniture that you didn't want. What we wanted to do in here as well was address the fact that the room was absolutely boiling in summer and freezing in winter. So we've got heat reflective blinds which deflect the heat in the summer, which mean that you can use the conservatory more. But I want to get a kind of just a heads up on how you feel when you walk in here. I just can't believe it. I just I wish Dave was here to see this. He he loved this house and he loved the garden and most of all, he loved us. Mm. <laughs> and I just can't believe it. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. Beautiful. And he used to, he, he loved this, even though it was, it was like a hot house. <laughs> if you timed it right, it's a lovely room to come into and look at the garden. And he used to always come in when it was raining, because it makes a phenomenal noise when it's raining. And as we discovered today, <laughs> I just wish you could have seen this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> I just, it's just, oh, it's a rocking chair. <laughs> That's one of your old familiars that we brought in. Thank Sometimes you. it's nice to see something that you recognise when you come into a brand new room. Dave brought that when Anna was born. And the crib, and the crib's in the loft. Oh, really? <laughs> well, well, you've grown, Anna. So <laughs> 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 a beautiful bouncing baby girl. Absolutely beautiful. It really is. Gorgeous. Absolutely fa fabulous. It just complements the garden as well, doesn't it? It brings it. It's and then the greens in, from in the lounge yeah. That's and the black that. picking up yeah. in here. Mm. Yeah. Fabulous. So will you use this space now? Absolutely. One million percent. <laughs> fabulous. Well, we're not done yet. One more. Some more. My heart can stand anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We've given your living room a wee lift. We've given your conservatory a wee lift. Your kitchen was already pretty nice. Which Thank means you. the only room left downstairs to consider is the dining room. It's the dining room. Shall we have a peek? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous, come on. <laughs> Follow me. We're Colin and Justin adding the glamour factor to Britain's housing stock one needy home at a time. We'll see you the next time. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. It's beyond my wildest dreams. I'd just like to thank them all from the bottom of my heart, and I love each and every one of them very much. So, today we've come to Newcastle under Lyme in Staffordshire, to Ruth's home, where she lives with her husband and baby daughter Neve. Her sister Helen, her father-in-law Peter, and her husband Andy are behind the surprise. But Ruth's got no idea we're here with top designer Richard Randall and the team. Wow, what a day to be doing the patio area. Now, the reason we're doing the patio area is because the living room and dining room space isn't quite two rooms. Okay. So to extend the space, to actually bring the inside out, we're going to do this lovely patio area. I think it's brilliant. We spend a lot of time out here. Um, so if you can make this look a lot nicer and a little bit more functional, then it's double thumbs up in my book. OK. Uh, furniture's all a little bit old out here. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, pretty much. This was purchased because at the time it was cheap and you could sit on it. Um, <laughs> Ruth can't stand it. Um, she'd much prefer something nicer than green plastic. OK. Is it a sun trap? Um, it is, yeah. Um, we get hours and hours of sun in the afternoon. 
Brilliant. Well, I'm glad you've said that because with two little ones, obviously sun protection is vital. So we're going to be putting an awning on here as well. Oh, brilliant. Mm, so it is going to be a real fabulous sheltered area, but an area that you can use all year round. I'm a little bit of a crazy fool for wanting to do this area, though, because this is going to be our ex access in and out of the makeover. So all the furniture, paint, wallpaper has got to come through here. And of course, it's raining the day I decide to go into yeah. a garden. So um, we've got the odds against us, but I know it will be worth it. Definitely. Anything you want to keep out here at all? The patio. <laughs> <laughs> Just the floor. There's nothing really that we want to keep. Feel free to take the weeds and the, uh, the horrible rain. Oh, I'll be sure to do that. We don't know about the rain, but we'll try. <laughs> Shall we go and see the final room? Okay. Definitely. Three, two, one. <laughs> patio area, that's what I like to see, the awning going up there. Barbecue being built. Are you very green-fingered, Pete? No, they're red. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to gardening, though? No, 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 this is, this is not... Uh, don't let the wife see me doing this. Oh, well, she will. Now, I don't oh. want these too formal, cos what I want to do here is I want to create kind of a higgledy-piggledy... Right. ..design. I don't yep. want them too formal, but okay. what we are going to do is plant these, but I want taller ones coming up to give lots of depth here. It's going to act as a border, a floral right. border. Cos what I want to do with this space is I want right. this to be a whole zone. OK. So dining room at the front, living room in the middle, and then this is going to be a real fantastic entertaining area. Right. OK. And then what do you think to the fact that up here we're going to have an awning up there? Oh, that'd be great. And then when the little ones are out here, they won't get too hot because it'll be in the shade. Yeah, perfect. Well, get stuck in. You yes. will be green thinking by the end of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK, guys, I'm sorry to tell you this, but there's less than ten seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... One! <laughs> Tools and paintbrushes down and everybody out. Yeah. Round of applause, everybody. <clears throat> I think you've done really, really well. There's absolutely loads to do today and we've got the weather against us. Whose idea was it to do the garden? My idea to do the garden and it's still raining. We've got a lot of dressing to do. There's a potting table, there's all that lovely black furniture, there's more plants to put out um, and you've got to get on with the awning that's going to come across the top in that lovely bold yellow and white stripe. So, Pete, can you make sure all that dressing is done perfectly and looks wonderful? Yes, Richard. That's what I like to hear, a bit of positivity. Are we ready to randalise? Yeah. No, that won't do. Are we ready to randalise? Yes! Three, two, one. Brilliant. How's the garden looking? Oh. Uh, Pete, are you liking the garden? Of course. What do you think to the awning? Oh, absolutely brilliant. That's, that's really going to cheer up the back. Real simple motion. Oh, yeah, leave that out now, then if it rains, we're all right then. Well, the sun's come out now, which oh. is nice. But isn't this great? Yeah, the fact that this brilliant. whole space can be used Fabulous. in the strong sun, in the rain. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Thanks to the man from Derby. Uh, now, Dave, yeah. the man from Derby. Dave, uh, tell me a bit about this. What's the total cost of this with you fitting it? Well, manual will be about two two, about two and a half thousand pounds to motorise. Okay. Um, nice little feature of this one. It's actually narrower at the back, projects further forward because the arms cross underneath the bottom of the. Oh, arm. I wondered why those came underneath. So is that yeah. why? It's because we've got all of the length here coming we've out. Got a, yeah, we've got a, a, a small width. We want to go further forward. So instead right. of the awning, the arms fitting into a box. Um, they fit underneath the, the box and then project out. Can you see yourself having a bit of vino and a nice oh, barbecue here? Me? Red wine? <laughs> Alcohol? Oh, I think you're going to get hours of enjoyment out here. If it not be days. Now it's... <laughs> hey, go and find them legs oh, for the no. sofa. Right. Uh, wow, that side area is looking a bit packed. Lucy, how are we doing? Yeah, good. Yeah. So, table needs to go down. That's got a glass top to it. Cushions can come out. There should be another two cushions, shouldn't there, somewhere? A uh, glass top, Davis, somewhere for there. Do you know where it is? OK, brilliant. Oh, will somebody give me a hand with this tree? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Lovely. What I love about that is I love the spiral stem. This lovely ball laurel here is going to work really lovely on the eye once you're sat inside. What, Pete, what's that sunflower down there? Uh, it, well, do you want me to arrange it somewhere? <laughs> yes, I just think here is lacking yellow and colour look. It looks right. a bit nettly we'll and woody. Some, we'll I think maybe some a nice bit of foliage over there. here would be nice. And a couple of cushions as well on here for Lucy as well, if you could grab a couple, would be nice. Yeah. I've got the perfect place for that here, Pete. Right, there you are. Perfect. So there are no extra plants there, no? Oh, look at that. See what a difference that makes, Pete? Perfect. Looks beautiful. I am slightly regretting doing this area 
However, it was absolutely vital to do. I would have liked a nice day to do it in, but it's going to be like an extension with no walls. It's fabulous. Because of this awning that comes out, it's going to create shelter, which is a good job it does, and it's also going to create shade in the sun. So the whole family can really enjoy this space, and not just the four of them, but the extended family as well. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> There's been heavy rain today in Newcastle under Lyme, but it hasn't put a dampener on our makeover at Ruth's. With the help of her husband Andy, her sister Helen, and her father in law Pete. Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I knew you liked being weird. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, guys, would you like to go and see your new home? Love to, yes. Pete, lead the way. Okay. Oh, Sixty minutes ago, this was Ruth's garden. She hated the plastic furniture, and the patio was cluttered and disconnected from the rest of the house. Wow, even the sun's come out. It's amazing how an awning, a few flowers and new garden furniture have made this a much more stylish and enjoyable space. Come and have a look at your new patio area. Oh, my life. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think? Ooh, gorgeous. Wow. The plants. To everything. Check out that. That's brilliant. That's wow. amazing. Mm -hmm. Furniture. About that? Yeah. <laughs> hey? No, it's fair to say it was a little bit neglected out here, wasn't it? Yeah. A bit of plastic furniture, a plastic slide, and yeah. just a bit of a dumping ground. And, and when I came to design the inside, I just thought this was a great space for you and your family to use. Yeah. There are another two chairs to this set, but we've left them out so that we could show you and get you all in now. And I just thought you and your family can have some really lovely summer evenings out here. I wanted to do the awning for the colour and also so that you can use it a lot of the year for shelter fantastic. and for shade yeah. and for your little ones to enjoy. Brilliant. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's amazing. It's better than I could have imagined. Pete, you were out here doing all this, putting it all together in the pouring rain, because yeah. it has rained a lot, I'm afraid. Uh, just a bit. Has it turned out what you thought it would yeah, be? Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. It's, it's just so much different from what it was. And what are your thoughts on the colour yellow? I like the colour yellow. You yeah. like the colour yellow? Mm. There might be a little bit more of it throughout okay. the house on this level. However, the next room I want to show you is on the upstairs level. OK. Should we go and have a look at it? Yes. Yeah. Lead the way, Pete. Lots of rain today, but a fantastic makeover. Thanks a lot, team. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.